Hey Real fans, welcome back to the channel or welcome if you're new. There's a lot that I wanna talk about and I didn't plan on actually filming another video until either late tonight or tomorrow because we're heading into Friday night now. And you know, Dovetail's probably gonna be taking themselves a little break for the weekend before we get into things next week, which it's gonna be a big week. I mean, Monday we have a preview stream for all this new American content and then on Tuesday we have the official release so it's going to be crazy next week lots happening and I really thought that things were going to quiet down for the weekend but we now have some walk around videos for both the new New York to Trenton and Amtrak Acela route again I've already expressed my concerns in previous videos and there was more that I want to expand on it first I'm gonna see how long this video ends up being by the time I'm done recording for what this this little article here is talking about with these video clips and then I'll decide if I want to tag on some new information or just make a completely separate video for it and post it tomorrow but the forums were alive and well today. Matt Peddleston revealed a lot of information. I don't want to say revealed new information. I feel like he kind of just clarified a lot of things for the community as far as what's coming, what's not coming and I guess how we can manage our expectations for potential future information improvements. I definitely want to say potential because they make it seem like it's possible, but they kind of say it in a way to where it sounds like it's not going to happen. And honestly, at this point, knowing our history with Dovetail and knowing our history with American Roots, looking at Harlem Line and Long Island Railroad, for example, you know, many issues within these routes still not being fixed and improved. I wouldn't hold your breath on them updating New York to Trenton sometime down the line with more timetable services, etc. But I might get into that later on in this video. Right here, right now, we are going to be talking about a brand new blog post that was posted on the Dovetail website. We have New York to Trenton and Amtrak Acela walk around videos ahead of the release of the Northeast Corridor, New York to Trenton and Amtrak Acela on February 21st. We've got some videos of them in action featuring Amtrak's Acela, the New Jersey Transit ALP 46, and the multi-level cab car and Amfleet Metroliner. We really haven't seen anything in terms of the multi-level cab car for New Jersey Transit thus far. We know that it's coming. There has been official confirmation. We've seen a little bit with the New Jersey Transit ALP 46. And of course, we know a lot about the Amfleet Metroliner car because we had that as DLC for Train Sim World 2020. And we've already seen pictures and stuff of that with this, but we have videos now. I'm going to stop rambling only a minute and 32 seconds for this first clip but still nonetheless i'm gonna blow this up we're gonna watch this here and see what uh what this is giving new jersey transit alp 46 train some world three there's a lot that I'm disappointed about, obviously. I've made that known, but like, I still can't express how excited I am to see another leg of Northeast Corridor in this game. I've just been waiting so long, so you're gonna see uh, the little fanboy in me come out for this one, for sure. It looks really good on the inside. That sounds very different than the last video we saw, but in a good way. They've done some improvements for sure because that does not sound like the last video, at least from what I can remember. That sounds really good, that horn. I should have actually turned this up a little louder. I'm gonna go back and we're gonna turn this up just a little louder here. Okay, I'm happy with that. I'm definitely happy with that horn. I think they did a very good job. I'm not from that neck of the woods, but I will say I've seen a lot of videos and it sounds good. The Acela out in broad daylight looks amazing, especially on the outside. Now we're on to the Amtrak Amfleet coaches. Okay, so this is the cab car.
I need to pause for a minute. That horn just sounded like really, it just didn't sound super natural. It sounded really like sharp and it just, I don't know how else to describe it, but it's like, it had such a quick cutoff. I feel like the horn sounds good, the horn itself, but it's the transition when the horn stops. That's what just sounds a little weird to me, but. Acceptable, I guess. All right, we're finally seeing, well, will we? Multi-level coaches, okay, here's the cab car, okay. I was wondering if we were gonna see this. It sounds good to me, but I don't know what it would sound like from inside the cab. So I can't really, I can't be a testament to its accuracy. You guys will have to let me know what you think. I really only know what these things sound like from the outside. But it sounds good to me. I really thought they would show a little bit more in terms of the root, you know, and the actual assets. But I guess this was just more so about, you know, the trains themselves, which I guess it's OK. I don't think they, you know, planned on giving us anything before the weekend. But I know that on the forums, a lot of people were just like, what's going on? We haven't really seen too much. And now we have a stream coming on Monday and a release on Tuesday. Like, give us something. So this is that something, which I guess is better than nothing. So of course, happy and grateful that we're at least seeing something now and also hoping that uh, Matt is feeling a lot better as well. All right, guys, on to the Amtrak Acela Express. I'm assuming we're gonna get a little demo of this thing uh, at Providence here because I can see that's where we are. I am so excited. Wait, was that what I thought it was? Did they incorporate the do 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 do? I couldn't tell if those were the Acela announcements or not. It looks good on the outside. I'm so excited for this. This thing is gonna be a beast. Okay, are we gonna get the horn? I'm crossing my fingers now. Please be good. Or not. That sounds good to me. God. The outside looks amazing, but the horn was so like short. They didn't give it a good little toot. We're gonna have to wait till the stream to really hear the horn. They like show it a little bit here. Is that even for this? Or do they just edit that in when making the video? I will say I am, I'm impressed with the way things look here. You guys will have to let me know what you think of this below. That's gonna be it for this video. I think I'm gonna do another one with some of the, I don't wanna say new information, with some of the recapped information um, from the forums today because there was a lot of discussion on there again. And uh, make sure you check out my previous videos if you haven't. Join the forums, join the discussion. If you don't already know, a lot's being left out from New York Trenton and it is disappointing. Will we live? Yes, we'll live, but we just deserve better. American content deserves better. Corners are constantly being cut. Things are constantly being left out. 200 something services when other routes have like 800 services, over a thousand services on some. It's just like, come on now, really? I'll have links in the description so you guys can check out those videos and check out the threads, create an account, join the forums. The more people that we get talking about this, the higher the chance that things are actually going to change and improve. If no one talks about this and everyone just buys it and everyone's just content with how things come out, then nothing's going to change. I still think that 
I'm personally going to buy it because I know that a lot of you here are going to be waiting to see what it's like to decide if you want to purchase it or not. So I am probably going to buy it so I can play it and give my honest review. And I will say, if I do think it really isn't worth the price, I will probably do a Steam refund because it wouldn't be the first time I've done a Steam refund, especially when I, you know, purchase one of these DLCs and it just doesn't live up to the expectations or it doesn't live up to what I feel like it should be living up to for the $40 asking price, which is pretty steep. Share your thoughts below on these new video clips. Take care, guys. Happy rail simming.